Welcome to the spoken tutorial on CTU counter. In this tutorial, we will learn about the working of count up counter. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of contact, coil, and reset instructions. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. In LD Micro, we have three types of counters. They are Count Up, which is represented as CTU, Count Down, which is represented as CTD, and Count Circular, which is represented as CTC. Here, first we will learn about CTU counter. In this tutorial, we will create a logic to turn on an LED. The condition is when the switch is pressed for more than or equal to 3 times. Let us open LD Micro. Insert a contact and a coil as shown. Rename the contact as switch. Then, rename the coil as LED. Place the cursor to the right of X switch. Now, insert a CTU from instructions as shown here. Double click on the counter. We can observe there are two columns. First one is for the name of the counter. Type count in it. Second column is the condition column. True if greater than or equal to. Here, we have to enter the desired count value. We will enter 3 as the count value. Click on the OK button. Note that the name is prefixed by C by default. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next. Start real-time simulation as shown. We can observe initially the states of X switch, Y LED and C count are 0. Double click on X switch to change its state to 1. We can observe the state of the counter C count changes to 1. But the state of Y LED is still 0. Now, Change the state of X switch back to 0. We can observe the state of C count is still 1. That is, the counter value updates only with the rising edge of its input. Change the state of X switch from 0 to 1 for a couple more times. After 3 low to high transitions of X switch, the state of C count reaches 3. We can now observe the state of Y LED changes to 1. Change the state of X switch to 0. Again, change it back to 1. The state of C count changes to 4. We can observe that the state of Y LED is still 1. Once the counter value reaches the desired count value, its output will always be 1. This is because of the condition greater than or equals to 3 in the CTU instruction. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then non halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings 
and select the microcontroller AVR at Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PC02 X switch and PA02Y LED. Compile the logic as CTU.hex. Then save the ladder diagram as CTU.LD. We will now see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the main board to your laptop using USB AFP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground of the main board. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. Initially, the red LED will not glow. It will glow only when the switch NO1 is pressed for at least 3 times. So, press the switch NO1 for 3 times. We can see the LED will be glowing even after the NO1 is released. Turn off the power supply. In order to turn off the LED, we need to reset the counter. It can be done by using a reset instruction as learned in the RTO tutorial. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about working of count up counter. As an assignment, do the following. First, draw a ladder diagram to turn on an LED. The condition is when the switch is pressed for more than or equal to 5 times. Second, include logic to reset the LED. Hint, use another contact and reset instruction. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.